I have both the Coleman 4% Instant Tint and the 4% Sky Dome Tint, and in this video, I'm going to show you all the differences between these two tints. Setting up the 4% Coleman Instant Tint takes just 4.5 minutes, while a 4% Sky Dome Tint takes 9.5 minutes, or about double the time. Meanwhile, taking down and packing up the 4% Instant Tint takes just 5 minutes, while the 4% Sky Dome Tint takes 10 minutes, also double the time. This is mainly because all the poles of the instant tent are pre-attached via a central hub and I didn't have to insert a single pole through any pole sleeves. All I had to do was prop the poles up and extend all the poles upwards. On the other hand, the poles of the Skydome tent are only pre-attached to the back of the tent so you still have to put the entire pole together and then secure the fast-fitting feet at the other end into these pole pockets sewn to the corner of the tent. Another big reason why the instant tent is much faster than a regular tent is because all the pole clips are pre-attached as well so I didn't have to clip them on. On the other hand, for the Skydome tent, I first had to pick up both poles, then bend down to pick up the two center pole clips and clip them to the tent poles. After that, I still had to clip on eight pole clips at the front of the tent and another six pole clips at the back of the tent. So although the Skydome is supposed to be a quick pitch in five minutes, it actually sets up and packs up very much like a regular tent. Although the Skydome tent is marketed to have 20% more headroom than a regular Sundome tent, thanks to these pole clips that pull the tent body upward and outward, it's still overall very much a dome-shaped tent with the peak height only at the center of the tent. On the other hand, the instant tent has more of a cabin shape with somewhat almost vertical sidewalls, giving it more livable space inside the tent than the Skydome. I could not only freely stretch my arms out, but I could also stand more upright in the corners. Both the Skydome and Instant Tents have very similar peak heights, which is 59 inches and 61 inches respectively, and also very similar base areas, 54.2 and 55.4 square feet respectively. Both tents can fit four regular sleeping pads with no leftover space or one queen bed with some leftover space. When it comes to the user friendliness of each tent's door, I much prefer and I actually really love the extra big door in the Skydome tent. The four person Skydome tent's door is much bigger, making it really easy to walk in and out of the tent. I also really love the door pocket here by the side where I could stuff the door fabric in when the door is open. On the other hand, the four person instant tent's door is quite a bit smaller and instead of a door pocket, it has these two latches by the side that tie the door fabric up, which takes a lot more fumbling and a lot more time. While both the 4-person instant tent and the 4-person Skydome tent have just two pockets each, the Skydome's pockets are actually quite a bit bigger. On top of that, the Skydome comes with this removable gear loft for more storage space if you need it. For the heavy rain test, I found that the length of each Coleman tent's rain fly really affects how long it stays dry under heavy rain. The Coleman instant tent has a really tiny rain fly covering only the very top of the tent, so a lot of water ran over the tent body. After just 15 minutes of heavy rain, I found quite a bit of leaking from the seam connecting the bathtub flooring to the black tent fabric. The black fabric here was damp and the tent was overall pretty drenched. On the other hand, my Skydome tent has a really long rain fly length at three sides of the tent and these sides didn't even leak after an hour of super heavy pouring rain. However, the front of the Skydome has a really short rain fly length though and after 15 minutes of heavy rain, I saw the first droplet of water entering the tent from the untaped bathtub flooring seam. With a little seam sealant though, the Skydome will be able to last a few hours under heavy rain. On a rainy day, with the rain fly in place and guide out, the Skydome tent has three massive mesh wall vents, each spanning almost the entire length of the tent. On top of that, I also found the rainfly pole pretty useful in kind of like diverting the rainfall away from the window. So if there's not too much wind, no water will get into the tent through the vents and I can even crack the window open. On the other hand, I needed to close all my windows in the Coleman Instant Tent and there are no vents inside the tent. So on a rainy day, ventilation is limited. On a hot day without the rainfly, the Skydome tent comes with not one, not two, but three humongous mesh walls plus a window on the last wall. On the other hand, while the four-person instant tent has three pretty big windows on these three walls of the tent, I'm not sure why there's no mesh on this wall here. 
There's also a small vent at the top of the tent, which doesn't do that much for ventilation, and there's also no ceiling mesh. The materials used in the Skydome tent is polyester, I think it's 68D for the tent body, and either 68 or 75D for the rainfly, and the tent poles are made of fiberglass. In contrast, the Coleman Instant Tent is made of 150D polyester taffeta, which is what Coleman calls double thick fabric, and the poles are made of alloy steel, so overall, higher quality materials. The Skydome 4 person tent has a pet size of 25 by 9 by 9 inches, and it weighs about 10.4 pounds. On the other hand, the 4 person instant tent has a pet size of 40 by 11 by 8 inches, which is more than 70% bigger than the Skyderm. It also weighs 18 pounds, and with the rainfly and the extra rainfly stakes, that's an additional 2 pounds. I paid only about 100 bucks for the 4% Skydome, and the 4% Instant Tent was maybe 20 to 30% more expensive. I think that's because of the slightly higher quality materials. But the weird thing is that I had to buy the Instant Tent Rainfly separately, which cost me another 30 bucks, so the price of the Instant Tent overall was quite a bit more expensive. Overall, if you're here looking for a tent that sets up easily, I think the Coleman Instant Tent is a much better pick for you. After all, the Skydome is definitely not a quick pitch and sets up more like a regular tent. On top of that, this instant tent also has more livable space inside the tent compared to the Skydome, thanks to the cabin shape, and it's also made of slightly higher quality materials. However, I recommend using the Coleman Instant Tent if you're camping only in fair weather or in your backyard or something. It doesn't do very well in rain and is definitely more of a summer tent. Also, I'd recommend the 10 person instant tent for hot summer days instead because it seriously has tons of hot day ventilation plus blackout fabric to keep you cool in the summer heat. I could also stand up everywhere inside the tent and I didn't have to pay for a separate rainfly because the rainfly was included in my purchase. On the other hand, I think it's better to go with the Skydome if you don't need the instant setup and the cabin shape. The door pocket is super user friendly, the storage options are better than your average Coleman tent, it will be great in heavy rain with just a little seam sealant, the ventilation inside the tent is one of the best when compared to the rest of my Coleman tents, it packs down pretty small and is also less expensive, and the setup is actually pretty simple once you get used to it. To find out how these tents compare against more than 10 other Coleman tents, I highly recommend that you watch this video here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.